Hello, hi guys. This is GMJ Jason914, and it's probably been a year, but oops, it's probably been a year, but I'm finally back and making a video. Hmm. Doesn't this sound familiar? This reminds me of the Pinoycraft server. Well, actually, this is the Pinoycraft spawn island, but this is not the Pinoycraft server. Um, admin Devil has graciously grabbed granted me the permission to uh, explore this map. I'm just doing this for good old nostalgia's sake. So this is the airplane. If you remember guys, you spawn here and then... So it's like you landed in an airport. So you land and then you go out of the plane and then you are, you go through the terminal and then once you get here you are whisked away through a portal going to the spawn the spawn uh, tutorial center which is the, the the library so this is the outside of the area what is this why is there this huge tower of dirt over here did anybody build this by uh, any chance anyone anyone in particular no well then I'll let it I'll leave it to the comments on my Facebook page and YouTube uh, channel for whoever did this because it's now being publicly posted for viewing so you are whisked away here into the library and let's just take a look inside because this is one of my f first ever builds actually this library but the interiors weren't mine we decked out this interior so that uh, it can do all this it can better suit the purpose of being the tutorial center. Let's just take a look. Go inside. Go inside. Doop -de -doop -doop -doop. Oops. How do we get in? Hmm. Oh. What's the question? Oh, no. Alright. This is grass. Because when you step on it, it sounds like grass. And uh, I think the problem here is that uh, the lowest level that we copied was the one, this one. So, because the sign was right here, it didn't uh, transplant itself into the schematic, which is a shame. Sad. Would have wanted to answer the questions, but anyway, let's just go out and do the glorious Pinoy craft climb when you finish. Uh, no better feeling than that. There used to be a Pinoy flag here as well. Shame. Welcome! Let's say hello to the other players. Hello! Let's... There we go. Well... Yeah, forever alone. So, hmm. Let's just go outside. This is, you might uh, notice that I'm not using the typical Minecraft texture pack. This is actually Sortex with shaders. So, some of the sites that you might see aren't really as nice because, you know, the interiors in shaders, while they are realistic, tend to be a bit dark. Like, this is a case in point. So dark over here. But this is a spawn area, and if I remember correctly, this is what I love about the spawn area. You go down. Oh no, 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 I messed it up. Somewhere here, pala. I messed that up, but. Okay, so this is the lag zone. Hey, how come this one copied? How come the other ones didn't? That's weird. Okay, let's just go up. Uh, you spawn here, and then that's the lag room. Designed by Cool Gords, and then you go out into the high street. Hmm. Is the sun setting already? Well, wait long. Let's fix that. There we go. So now it's nice and bright, and you can appreciate the beauty of shaders and the beauty of the Pinoy Craft spawn. Let's take a look. This, I think, is the admin and mod building over here. Um, we never really got to finish it, as you can see, there, there's no roof actually, but it was supposed to be that every admin and every GM had offices in here and they, they can just do stuff. Let's take a look at who were the mods at that time. Hmm. Mods. Madame Queen and Ahmed, I don't ever remember. Wait, Madame Queen I think was in the GM group, but she was uh, just a forum guardian. Ahmed I never recall ever being a GM. But I remember he was given creative mode once, so he because he's just an awesome builder. Period. He's the best builder in the server. Uh, Happy More, a Clockwork, Pulsefire, Michael, Big Mac, Kramathia. Oh my God, I remember those names. Spikey, I missed you so much. 
Mwah. Tomato. Uh, and then me. I was a head GM back then. I never knew that. But oh well. There we go. Let's go up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This was an elevator too, I think. Thankfully, somebody drilled a hole so I don't have to grieve. Oh, no, it's black. But there's some memorabilia left behind. Dibs on the second floor. Who did this? Clockwork. <laughs> so, we never got to finish the second floor. Sorry, but, you know, you, co you call Dibs. So, if ever we go back online again, and you go back online again as GM, you're going to get this floor. You're going to get the second floor. Okay, let's go out. <laughs> Getting confused in the entrance. Hotel de Halangdon, I think. This is the Cebu Hotel. And this was the biggest and laggiest thing of all time. Because at least, even if the Philippine Arena project that we had was big, we had a purpose for it. This one didn't. And it was just annoying that we never found... A true purpose for it but it was supposed to be like every player has a room and then they're not gonna make a house anymore they're just gonna put their stuff there and off they go so they won't uh, end up destroying the world with little hidey holes but you know you, everybody has to it's a building game and everybody wants to build a house so yeah this thing was a fail it's just a, a tower of lag uh, Torre de Lag if anybody's watching the Torre de Manila fiasco Hmm. There's even a swimming pool at the back. Okay, and this is the Manila Bay area. Ooh, look at the water in this uh, shaders mod. It's really realistic. It looks like a swimming pool though because of all the lines, but it's really realistic. This Bay area, there's this Bay Walk. Oh, it's like you were at home, eh? Palm trees by the Bay, Manila Bay Walk. Beautiful. Let's dive. Hmm. Really realistic shaders farm oh this is pcm and this is the high street let's see if there's some stuff being sold here because I if i remember correctly um we were already selling stuff by the time this schematic was saved let's take a look oh my god it's been raided oof sad times i wonder how much the stuff were let's take a look at the other one maybe it's uh maybe the stuff there were actually preserved and it's not. Oh no. Mm. Oh, there's some stuff here though. Out of stock. <laughs> Just arrived. Weekly rares. Emerald block. Kaching. I just bought an emerald block. And then the high street. There are some planes above. Now, if I remember, I loved this these planes before, if I remember correctly, and uh, the views that you get from these planes are just freaking awesome. If I remember, there's actually a version of this in the airport, and then once you press the button, it will actually teleport you here. So it's as if you took off, and then you're flying over the spawn area. It really looks like a cockpit. Whoever built this, I applaud you. Uh huh. Quezon Monument. One of my this is also one of my first ever builds and it's probably the tallest thing I've ever built. I mean, look at that. I love that. It's actually a square here rather than a circle in real life because we had to accommodate it. But uh, what the hell? And this is Ahmed's uh, Philippine map thing, but you can't see it because it's almost night time. So let me just do something about it. There we go. It looks like a Philippine map, sort of. Manila Cathedral is over here. I did the exteriors. I'm proud of that. But whoever did the interiors is, should be doubly proud of themselves because it's more accurate. Look at that. It's even harder because you have to cram in all these detail into a very limited space. But hmm. candles. Look at the torch in this one. It's so realistic how the flames just uh, send embers up. Uh, hmm. And I think this is this is the side entrance. We never really fixed that. This is the Iglesia de Cristo area. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want rain. Toggle downfall. Immediately. Look how blurry the rain really is here though. Rain in shaders, man. Shaders are awesome. Iglesia de Cristo. 
I'm not an INC member. People probably think I am because of all the Philippine Arena Iglesia Ni Cristo stuff that I built, but I'm not. I just helped out here. Cool Gords is the INC member, and he's the one who did the interiors because obviously I haven't been inside an INC church, and uh, I I can only judge an INC church based on what I see outside. So this is where I helped in. Then we have Luneta Park. Oh, so beautiful. This is the main landmark of Pinoy Craft. And oh my god! Now, you see guys, right now, in the Philippines, in Manila, we're having a bit big problem with Torre de Manila. Okay? Torre de Manila is this one huge tower that sits right behind Rizal Park and it's causing it it's tagged as the Pambansang photo bomber because of its position. I never knew that we actually succeeded in foreshadowing it by putting our Christmas tree there. Now, I'm sorry, Spikey, because this was one of your greatest ever trademark builds, but I'm just sorry that we had to position it there, and it's so awkward right now. I mean, before, we thought, eh, that's very nice, but now look at it. It's a photo bomber, basically. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Manila Bay tag. I didn't know we have a, we had a port there. I probably built that, but I forgot all about it. Okay, here's Story de Manila. I mean, Spikey's Christmas tree. It it even had to be positioned it at an angle. I mean, if you look at Story de Manila, it's not directly behind Rizal. It's towards to the right a little bit. It's just such an accurate little bit of foreshadowing that we did. <laughs> But anyway, I'm just gonna take a look at it. Let's look at uh, Torre de Pasco. Um, I think this is a water elevator. Oof. Wow. This is incredibly detailed on the outside and also inside. Well done. I miss Spikey so much. If you're watching this video, I hope we can talk soon. Let's see. There's even a train going around Torre de Manila, and this is JJ. Oh yes, JJ, you are the king of 3D pixel arts. I really wish you could go back into Minecraft somehow because, I mean, this is, this is skill. This is true skill. Look at that. Even I can't make something like that. That's brilliant with the Philippine flag. And then Michael's uh, terraforming all around, but. This is such an awkward position for it because of all the Torre de Manila nonsense coming out lately. Uh, well, anyway, I guess I pretty much covered everything that I have to cover in the spawn area. Let's uh, just step down at the photobombed Rizal Monument and just say our bye byes here. There we go. I'm using a new skin, by the way. I'm no longer using the football player. I'm using this uh, skin, which is inspired by the people who graduate from my school, UP Diliman. Or UP in general. So, to the people watching, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Take care.